I'm going to be talking about a major game changing feature that is coming in the upcoming Alpha 318 update in Star Citizen. If you don't know what it is, I'm talking about Cargo Refactor. One major change coming with Cargo Refactor in 318 is physicalized cargo. Right now you can buy and sell cargo, but it doesn't physically exist. With physicalized cargo, your cargo will actually physically exist. It will have collision boxes and you can stack and move them. So no more running through imaginary boxes. Currently, how cargo exists is that they're tethered to your ship until you sell it, you lose your ship, or your ship gets destroyed. And when it does, your cargo falls out in these 1 8 SU boxes, which are a nightmare to pick up. But with Cargo Refactor, everything changes. First off, no more 1 8 SU boxes. When your ship gets destroyed, your cargo will only fall out in 1 SU boxes. When your ship's hull health goes to zero, one of two things will happen. One scenario is your ship will go into soft death, where all your ship systems will be permanently disabled and your ship turns into a husk. You and your crew will still be alive and all cargo in your ship will stay intact. This is to encourage boarding actions by attacking players which will make for some interesting PvP situations. The devs didn't mention if that will also disable life support in your ship, which if it does, and it probably will, then you not gonna have much time to put on your helmet before you choke to death. What wasn't mentioned is if this will also apply to AI ships. If it does, then this could change the dynamic of PvE gameplay. It'd make bounties more interesting. Imagine after killing a bounty or enemy ship, you can loot their stuff for extra money. The devs mentioned that this soft death state is only meant to be a temporary addition until they can do physicalized damage. The other scenario is the more typical scenario that we are used to right now. Your ship blows up and 0 to 90% of your cargo will survive with the average being around 45%. I should also mention that soft death only applies to combat deaths. Explosive deaths and deaths by game rules such as flying into an asteroid or touching water won't result in a soft death. Speaking of soft deaths, the main intent was to prevent you from losing your stuff when your ship dies. But obviously, this will have a big impact on piracy. Currently with piracy, the only way to pirate is to extort players for their AUEC after you catch them with the mantis. Another way is to take advantage of medical beacons and drug up the victims and hold them and their stuff hostage unless they pay up. Sometimes they do, but many times they'll refuse. But with cargo refractor and soft deaths, opportunities have opened up. Now with physicalized cargo, pirates can loot any cargo from their victims' ships. So if you want to make some extra money, you'll have to bring someone with a large cargo ship in addition to the mantis. But once you've acquired said cargo, Selling it isn't as simple as going to a trading terminal and clicking sell. Because the cargo is still technically owned by the victim, you can't sell it at any normal terminals in cities, space stations, or outposts. To sell your borrowed cargo, you have to sell them at a discount at no questions asked or NQA terminals located in shadier places like Grimhex. How big is the discount? Well, according to players who've played in the PTU, one SU of RMC or Recycled Material Composite is worth about 7.7k AUX. So judging by the screenshot, the discount is around 18%. Speaking of terminals, there will be a completely new UI for trading terminals in 318, and buying and selling cargo will still work like it does in 317. Now there's a weird problem with cargo refactor, and that is you can't use tractor beams in armistice zones. So if you crash your ship full of cargo at a space station or spaceport, you have no way of moving the cargo that survived. Combined with persistent entity streaming, and you might end up with some garbage buildup around these areas over time. Although, I still don't have access to the PTU, so if the game does have a way of dealing with that, let me know in the comments. And that's everything you need to know about Cargo Refactor. But remember, this is only the first iteration. Features like cargo loading and unloading, cargo missions, and more will come in future updates. I should also mention that ships with cargo pods like the Mole and the Prospector will still work the same way in the first iteration of Cargo Refactor. That is, once it's destroyed, all cargo will be lost regardless of soft death. But Cargo Refactor isn't the only major feature coming out in the 318 update. There's another highly anticipated feature that's also coming out in Alpha 318, and I have all the juicy details about it, which you can watch right here.